Hello everyone, welcome back to another session. So in this session, I am going to discuss about uh, automatic payment program in SAP. So uh, in this video, first of all, we will understand what is this uh, automatic payment program and then we'll see the configuration and later we'll see the end user activities. Okay. Uh, so APP automatic payment program uh, serve the purpose of posting the accounts payable documents like uh, vendor posting in SAP. So APP is used to find out the open invoices based on the due date, based on the due date, and it will make the payment in one go. With the help of this uh, APP automatic payment program, we can do uh, we can post the multiple payment documents at a time. Now let's see how to configure it in the SAP system. So for that, we need to access the transaction code FPJP. And hit enter and then click on all company codes and click on new entries here and then my company code is 2001 and here my paying company code is also 2001 in the business real-time scenario there might be a requirement so my company code would be 2001 and the paying company code would be different like 2002 or 2003 based on the company's requirement so here you can see separate payment per business area if you are using the business area concept you need a separate payment line items at business area wise you need to select this and if you have any cash discount and tolerances we need to maintain here and a vendor special GL paid like uh, advanced payment and all those things we can maintain here for the customer and in my case uh, I'm, no, I'm not going to maintain anything then then just click on save go on step back move one more step back and then the second step would be paying company code and here click on new entries give the paying company code 2001 and minimum incoming payment and outgoing payment minimum so i am mentioning 100 and then here no exchange rate difference uh, i want to maintain this one separate payment for each reference and then here you can maintain the forms uh, we have sap standard forms we have and uh, as well as we can make we can create the custom forms and we can maintain here and then click on save go back one more step back and then in this payment method in country we will be we will define a payment method whether it's like uh, the mode of payment like a check or bank transfer or wire transfer like that so my country would be bank in india so for this it's already bank transfer is already created let me just open and verify so outgoing payment and uh, bank transfer Okay, and then so here this one if you can see required master data so I have checked this one street PO and postal code and bank details and account numbers are required so this system will check the vendor master data whether these all details are maintained or not if not maintained in the when you execute the F110 the system will throw the error so here we can see the document type and clearing document type ZV and document type for payment ZP and uh, if we have the dme configuration we will maintain here dme tree dme structure uh, we'll cover this in later and then just click on save and uh, come back one more step back now whatever the payment method we have created for our country we will be assigning here in the payment method in company code and here click on new entries give your company code and uh, payment method and then here we will maintain the minimum amount and the maximum amount and then here foreign payments uh, foreign business partners allowed foreign currency allowed and foreign customer and vendors allowed and here grouping of items uh, if a single payment for marked items so for the vendor uh, system if we select this one system will generate only one line item uh, I will be selecting this one payment per due date and no, I will not select this one then click on save 
and then come one step back one more step back now we have completed a four steps and now before going to bank determination we need to create a house bank and then bank account we need to create let's access the house bank here and click on position and select your company code house bank here so here in system i have not created any house bank here so click on new entries and i will be giving here hdfc and country would be india and here bank key would be hdfc in 001 hit enter and then click on create and the bank name would be hdfc hdfc bank brand should be hyderabad and then here the bank number i need to maintain four six seven and the shift code here hdfc inhy00 and then click on save here so now go one step back one more step back here so we have created the house bank here now select this house bank and click on bank accounts so here we will be having only display access only so here uh, in gui screen we cannot create the bank accounts in sap s4 hana from uh, sap s4 hana we need to create the bank accounts we need to use the fury app which is uh, manage bank accounts so let me access to the manage bank account fury app so i will be click on search button here and enter the bank fury app name manage manage bank accounts so here and then hit enter so it will take some time so here we can see this is the app where we need to create the bank accounts just select this bank account app so if the already accounts has been created then we can give the company code and click on go then system will show you the all the bank accounts which has been created uh, for again to that company code so for my company code the bank accounts has been not created so i am going with the create option here and then give the company code 2001 and then select the account type so here we can see we will be having the multiple account types like salary account and tax account and loan account investment account deposit account so i will be selecting my as a current account then click on continue here okay account description would be hdfc outgoing and account number would be 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 for the testing purpose i am maintaining this one and okay this is not the country which i need to select my country would be in and then bank key would be my bank key would be hdfcin okay so yeah this one 
and then currency would be NR. And then come down if you have the bank IBAN number, we will maintain the IBAN number here and then come to the general data. So in the general data, we will be selecting the account type and opening date and account holder and then if you want we can select the profit center because uh, system will look for the profit center so my controlling area would be 2000 so here this is the 2000 and i will be selecting the finance one and then bank relationship no need to do anything come to the house bank account connectivity And now here click on create here we need to map our bank account to our house bank account so here we can see my house bank would be HDFC now go back here the system has already mapped to the house bank now here we need to maintain GL account data so when you uh, do F4 here you will be able to see only uh, two accounts so here the reconciliation account this is a new functionality which I will cover later so cancel here so as of now I will be not maintaining anything here the bank accounts here we need to maintain only the reconciliation account which we have created which will be create as a uh, cash account GL account group type so for this uh, I need to do the configuration of EBS, EBRS configuration so I will be covering this part later and now uh, just click on apply and click on save as inactive enter house bank account ID okay so we have forgot to enter the house bank account ID where it's throwing so this one might be so hdfc okay in general data okay here here we need to enter the account id and then save as inactive okay that's okay and then click on activate So here we can see a new version of bank account HDFC outgoing account was activated. Now close this one. Now go back to SAP. So here refresh the screen slash enter FPZP and click on house bank here. So and then click on position and select your company code and then click on house banks here and then click on bank accounts now we will be able to see our bank account here now go back go back to bank account determination <coughs> this is a bank account determination double click this one and now click on position and select your company code 2001 and click on ranking order and here click on new entries here and then my payment method would be T and currency would be INR, INR. <coughs> sorry and select the ranking order as one and then house bank would be HDFC save this one first and select this one and click on bank accounts and click on new entries here and again select the HD 
host bank which has HDFC and then payment method would be T and currency would be INR and account ID would be HDFC only and bank sub account here we will be selecting the GL account so this is my outgoing account and then hit enter and select this one and click on available amounts select new entry and give the host bank and account id and this as nine and currency as INR and available amount you can maintain as 999 and then hit enter and then finally click on save and if you select this one and click on value date so here when you click on new entries give the payment method i will tell you why this is house bank as a hdfc and account id also same hdfc and amount limit 99999 okay and here you can see days to value date so if i mention two here so what system will do uh, when I execute this program if I let's suppose I have executed this program on today today is uh, May 25th so uh, the actual payment will be happened after two days of two days like let's suppose the uh, 27th the actual payment will be happened so if that this requirement is there we can do this and then just click on save in my case I don't want this requirement and then just click on save okay and so come back to the main screen here so so till here uh, we have completed uh, we have seen the FBZP what is FBZP and uh, FBZP configuration so in generally in the uh, in interviews the very frequently asked question is uh, what are the steps of uh, app they will ask so then we have to go with uh, this all six uh, six steps and uh, and sometimes they will ask uh, uh, what you will be doing the uh, like this tab and the, like all company codes they will ask like that so we have to explain uh, uh, all the step by step things like uh, I will be defining my company code and I will maintain sending and paying company code and then if we have any cash discount and the vendor special jail accounts we need to explain the step-by-step -step process so that's all in this section thank you so much